Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to ICELT Academy <coughs> Excel video. It is a part of Excel Snippet and ICELT Academy YouTube channel. And I'm trying to add one more topic uh, which I've recently uh, gone through in a YouTube video from my master called Mike Riven. And Mike Riven, sir, uh, thank you so much. I just wondered you from Gordo and you are the inspiration for me to start this YouTube channel. And I'm recreating your video one more time and uh, this time I'm adding one more twist to the list. Uh, I'm going to use uh, all version formula to get a data from multiple tables here. So let's see how to do that. So when I go down to this sheet, you can see that <clears throat> I have an invoice number that's coming up and I have a customer and a product that I sold who wanted in it. And I have four different tables that is coming up in this list. And this, I'm going to use these tables to get the commission rate according to the product and according to the quantity here. Here, I'm going to use two different formulas. The first formula will be a if condition formula. I'm going to use a nested if functionality. Here, I have four tables. I'm going to use three ifs in it. And then finally, I'll do a VLOOKUP for the quantity table. So before I start, I will add some formula text here so that I can show you how the formulas are going to grow stage by stage and get the data done. Here. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to start. This is an all formula or all version formula which allows you to work from the very oldest version to the latest version possible. So I'm going to use an nested if. So again, you can use this in multi-dimensional component. You can use this using an indirect function, you can use a choose function, you can use a switch function, and you can use the latest version function called ifs also in it. I'm using the old version. I'll be creating four more videos in this list. I'm not using all of them in one video. So I'm going to make it as small and as short as possible. Let's show that. I'm going to just start with an if condition here. And my logical test is going to be that I want to search for this product if this product is equal to this. So I'm selecting a cell reference here. And again, whenever you choose a multiple table, please use the cell reference properly and then give an absolute cell reference of four ones. Then I give a comma. If the table is going to be, or the product is this, then my table is going to be this. I've already named the table here called Apple 13 here. So that's why it's showing me Apple 13 when I selected the table here. If you want to know more about the table, you can come back and learn the previous video in the same series here which allows you to learn how to create a table. Then I give a comma and again, I have to get the second component. So I'm going to give again, if same value, if this no val item is not that one, the one which is below, then I'm going to choose that one. Again, I'm going to give an absolute self reference here. I give a comma. Then when I choose this table right now, this table is named as one plus or one underscore nine. I cannot use a plus in a name manager. When I do that, it will shout at you. So you can see that when you are creating that. Then I give a comma and finally I'm going to use the last if here if that value is going to be this, if this value is going to be this, that is Samsung Galaxy, then I give an F4. You can take a table which is the third one. Again, it's going to give you a Samsung table here. If not, you can take the next table called Moto. That allows you to get what you want. So now I got the list and then I'm going to close the bracket here once and then twice and then twice and give an enter. So that's going to give you a spill effect here because I'm using a latest version called Office 365 here. That's why it's giving you a spill effect for my formula. That's okay for me. And I'm okay with that because it's giving you the whole table to me for the first product. And if you change the product here, probably it's going to give you a lot more information than this. So this is the first formula that I've used. Now let's I'm going to copy paste and value it. Then I'm going to use the VLOOKUP right now. And when I do a VLOOKUP, do remember that generally when we do a VLOOKUP, by default, we'll go for a product here. Even I did the mistake when I tried to check out whether the formula works effectively for me or not. And then I realized that I made a mistake here. Then I just swapped it to a quantity point. So now I'm going to use a V lookup here. Again, I'm going to go back to the lookup value as the quantity here and give a comma. And my table array is going to be my ifs. And one more component here. I'm going to use the default function of a V lookup here that is called approximate match. To do an approximate match, I'm going to only hit the column index number. Then I'm not going to use the last one. If you want to use the last one, you can use an approximate match called true here. Or you can you can leave it as it is because the VLOOKUP will automatically work properly for you. 
when I give an enter, it's going to populate the formula here, and then when I populate this formula, you got my VLOOKUP functions available for me. So now I'm going to make this to the next point, and then make it to a merge, and then I will make the merge comes to this cell, and then I will wrap the text here, and then again I'll merge this so that I can see the formula better. And again, I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to say merge this cell and then wrap the text here. So I put it on top. So this is my first formula for if, and then I've completed that with a lookup function data. And if I want to check, I'm going to use an Apple Pro right now. So the five products will have a 5% or 0.05% difference. And if I change the quantum to 10, the formula will change here. If I make it as 25, it's going to change. And this is the first table formula. Then when I go to the second item, I can just change that to 25, then it gives you 0.3. And when I go for Samsung, when I change it to 25 again, it's going to give you 0.3. And when I go to the Moto again, the formula still remains this list. And I'm going to use the 15 function right here. It's going to give you the 15 percent. So this is how I'll use a multiple table using an if condition first, and then I can do a V lookup to get an approximate match of what will be the commission rate if I am going to sell this many number of quality for a particular product. This is Vinod signing from Excel Snippet and iSelf Academy. This is the Excel master topic video number 7. If you want to learn more about the table, you can watch video number 4. I will add the description below our video. We will be learning more. Let's learn more. Let's keep updating. I will be adding a little bit more or more every day uh, at least a uh, a video will be added and uh, uh, my grievance sir with all uh, due respect and with your permission i'm going to copy your videos a little bit more than normal i found few videos very interesting so i want to reiterate them to my people in india they can uh, understand you uh, better but again i would like to do, do it in my way my way and my version of it thank you so much sergey and uh, have a great day ahead and guys keep learning stay away